So man, listen, for the 25 years that I have known you, mm -hmm. right? Everybody that knows that you played a role in my life yeah. in the church, <laughs> yeah. the number one question, they were mm -hmm. like, yo, is, is Will a man of faith? Does he love the Lord? <laughs> I'm like, yes. Okay, so but I want, yeah. to tell, I want you to hear you, from the you horse's mouth. You, Are you, you a man of faith? You can't Do you get, love the Lord? You can't get where I get if you don't love the Lord. Exactly. You, don't, you don't get to sit how I sit and move how I move if you right. don't love the Lord. Exactly. Uh, yeah, okay. you know, you, you'd be seeing a whole lot of other repercussions. <laughs> Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Will Smith absolutely slapped Chris Rock at the Oscars, but that's just the tip of the iceberg on this story. First some background, then I'll share what nobody else is talking about regarding this situation with Will Smith and Chris Rock. Stay tuned till the end of the video where I'll share my big take. So Will Smith was set to possibly win his first Best Actor award at the Oscars and finally make that big leap from just being a, you know, an international movie star to actually winning an award, which he hadn't done. There was lots of intense anticipation leading up to this moment, and they asked Denzel Washington what he thought about it. No, no I haven't seen him yet tonight. No. I, are you there for him? Because I know he may need you tonight. He may need you, was especially he if he apart? Was, he looked was he emotional? He looked by. He looked well, good. He should be. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's a lot of emotions. This is a long time, well, I think a long time coming for him. And it's a lot of emotion. It's probably all welling up in him right now. But as you know by now, during Chris Rock's monologue, he made mention of Jada, who is Will's wife, her hair. And what, you know, he either did or didn't know was that she suffers from alopecia, which means that your hair either falls out all completely or portions of it do. And she decided to cut it. He made a joke about that. And what transpired shocked the world. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. He took my name out your mouth. Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane joke. Keep my wife's name out your mouth! I'm going to, okay? So you've probably asked yourself this by now, and I have too. Is this fake? It seems fake, but after watching a lot of videos and a lot of people that were actually there at the Oscars, I'm convinced that it was real. And especially him dropping numerous F-bombs on, on national TV, it convinces me that this was real, which is that much more insane. Okay, two takes on this whole situation. Will Smith was wrong to slap Chris Rock for making a joke. That was just wrong. He definitely could have handled that in a much more more mature way so that was not right in my opinion but also Chris Rock was wrong to make the joke if he did know that Jada was struggling with alopecia because I just think that's mean-spirited and, and just wrong honestly he, if he didn't know then I, I just think it was a harmless joke about her hair that unfortunately had something going on beneath the surface information that he wasn't aware of so that's just more of an unfortunate situation okay but let's get into the interesting stuff here okay so if we take a deeper look into this whole dynamic and this is so interesting to me and so weird because you take a look and it's actually been known for years by now that Jada and Will are in an open relationship and if you're a sheltered homeschooler like me then you're like what is that and it basically means that nobody is required to be monogamous which is like wait why are you married then like what's the point um, but apparently I guess is what they're doing and it's very confusing too because at the beginning you heard that Will kind of said that he believed in God or he had faith in God but honestly, if you're looking at his life and if you're looking at these key decisions around his marriage, you come to realize that the faith that he's putting in a God, that God is not the God of the Bible. It's a God in, of his own creation, his own imagination that is okay with his sin. She had to make herself happy and I had to make myself happy. And then we were gonna present ourselves back to the relationship already happy. Mm -hmm versus demanding that the other person fill our empty cup. Hmm. 
like you think about it for any Christian, they know the verse where it's like man shall leave his father and his mother and they shall become one flesh, one flesh, not multiple fleshes. That's just weird. But this gives insight to the twisted morality of our world. When you reject the morality of the Bible, you're left with your own subjective standards. It's interesting to me that with the normalization of these open relationships, a lot of these couples are actually verbalizing some of the arguments of people that are in polyamorous relationships as well. This video from Jubilee highlights it well and I love my husband I've been with him for 18 years coming up and I have some friends with benefits but I am looking for someone else to be like in a relationship with that fulfills some needs that I'm not getting from my current partner okay guys now I'm gonna pull it all together what are we supposed to learn and take away from this whole situation you and I are Will Smith no you're not a famous movie star and no I didn't star in men in black but here's why I say that we can get real upset when God is criticized or mocked in the public sphere, and we can perform some grand gesture to demonstrate that we truly love him in the public setting. But behind the scenes, are we faithful to him? Or are we going to other people, other things to fulfill our needs? It's one thing to say we love God publicly, but will we be faithful to him privately? You wanna feel loved, you wanna feel needed, you wanna feel pleasure, you wanna feel happiness. So you fill your life with so many things and idols in hopes that they will fulfill your needs. Pornography, consumerism, man-centered religion, we've convinced ourselves that these things can coexist alongside of our relationship with God, but they can't. This analogy does break down because most likely Jada Smith has also been unfaithful to Will Smith as well. But here's the thing, God has never been unfaithful to us. He demonstrated this in the Old Testament as the Israelites turned to other gods. He stayed true to his covenant with them, even though they continued to reject him. We have played the prostitute. We have left our first love in hopes that our needs may be met in another. Because of that, we are continually left in our brokenness and sin, incapable of mending that which is so twisted within us. But God in his mercy sent Jesus to become that ultimate sacrifice to pay for our betrayal against him. But while we were yet sinners, while we were in the arms of another, Christ died for us. His love wasn't all show. He didn't make a big deal and spectacle just to show the world, oh, look how much I love them. And he didn't back it up. No, he did back it up because he has been faithful to his promises to us from day one. Today, I encourage you, don't use this as another opportunity to condemn somebody else and their sin, but rather turn it inward. Identify the times in your own life that you have strayed from your first love and repent. Turn to Christ in faith because he is so merciful and gracious to receive us back even though we continue to stray. His love is that good. This video is brought to you by my friends on Patreon. My life's mission is to share the gospel and help people follow Jesus daily. This ministry can only happen because of the wonderful people that support me on a monthly basis. If you want to get behind my mission and help me do what I do, then head on over to the link in my bio and sign up on Patreon today. It would be a tremendous, tremendous, wonderful blessing. Thank you so much, guys, and I will see you guys next time. Subscribe because I'm putting out new videos all the time. God bless.